Welcome back to Let's Play Traffic Giant with me, Squawk. And when we left off, we're just wrapping up the third year of the game and we're just going into the fourth. Apologies for the abrupt ending in the last episode, but I was actually very worried that the game would crash and wipe out my entire episode, basically. So, we'll jump back in where we were. So, what we're doing right now is I'm saving up for another train for Line 10 because Line 10 has uh, exploded in popularity, just like everything else, because... Seems that this mission has decided to uh, give up and be exceedingly easy, but oh, nice one, Line 10. Right, if Line 10's going to do well for now, that just gives, buys me a little bit of time so I can get another MD, not an MD, uh, I want to get another MAM GLX4 going on Line 1, please, because Line 1 is um, very, very, but it's made over a million pounds, by the way, a million pounds, there we go. First line to, to oh, no, wait, another, oh, Line 5's also broke one million, of course Line 5 will break one million, Line 5's fucking the man. Anyway, um... Just waiting on, um, actually while we're, while we're waiting on the money to come in for a new train, I should actually uh, build up the line now, so then I'm ready to uh, just set it off straight away. So, where are we starting? Well, we're starting at these factories again, so we're going to try and basically try and get all the collaborators now, and then we can basically completely eliminate traffic from that area. So, this is just me at work here. So, we're going all the way up through these little residential areas, past that school, which I thankfully did not have to demolish and start some sort of annoying Sokamon campaign against me, claiming that I was Satan or something. And we go all the way into this uh, little, uh, all these, this little apartment district, all the way in, and then it's all the way back out, so there we go, we should, we suck up a lot of extra residential traffic as well, so but these guys can jump on the train, and they can jump off the train, and they can get on the bus, and then they can go wherever they want in town. Now these city railroads will also serve as a linking line, not just a direct line. See, I am ahead of the game today. So there we go, that's line 11 done. And uh, what shall today's kooky Pokemon name be? Um, I'm running out of names. I, I told you I didn't really play a lot, but... Um, uh, shit, I've gone dry. Oh, in the one called Electro Balls. There we go, electro balls, that'll work out. Right, there we go. Um, right, 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 right. Let's buy a train. At uh, this rate, we could actually probably afford the SMB and AP40, you know what? I think we're actually, I'm gonna go and afford the SMB and AP40 just because, yeah, fuck it, I've actually nearly got enough money, you know? We've nearly got over a million in liquid assets. This is how good we're doing. We, I mean, we, I haven't even looked at the profits uh, for this mission so far, and I, I actually don't wanna look at the profits because I think, uh, what we're going to see is we're going to see very, 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 very big numbers say that, yeah, you know what, you had a fucking man. You hadn't even, your company hadn't even been in debt yet, you know? I mean, you've very rarely fallen below having 100,000 in liquid assets. This is how good you're doing in this mission. So actually, why would we just wait on that, that last little 100,000 to be raised? Because that's what we need. Uh, let's just have a quick look on our goal progress because we didn't get time to last episode due to fears about the game crashing. Because this game does crash. Um, every now and then, so I have to be, uh, I have to be vigilant. Um, so as it stands, we have now broke four million company value, so we are well ahead of schedule if we want to get at least one star, and we're pretty much on schedule if we want to go for, if we want to go for three stars. Uh, we've got, we're nearly halfway to uh, fifty percent traffic. You know, we've got twenty four percent off the road. I think line eleven will probably chuck us up a few more percentage points, and well, yeah, four years down, and there's. 10 years in total, so you know what we're doing well. Company value is rising at a very high rate as well, so that means hitting our goals is something we're going to have no problem with, and now I've bought that new train. So let's get line 11 set off, and then I'm going to save up for another train for line 10, just so I can get line 10 running efficiently, because, yeah, there's more than... There's, like, so many people here that we, we just need to get moving. But I'm glad that we've got this stadium now. Yes! Customers, good. What's the predicted... What's, like, the projected uh, share of this stadium? 138, not bad at all. I will take 138. What was the difference between the NAP20 and the NAP40, by the way, was it? Oh, it was just better, more attractive. Right, I should have just gone for NAP40 all the way, but then again, it looks like I didn't even need it, but yeah. Line 10 needs another train, so I will just go with an, with an NAP20 for line 10. Uh, line 11, yeah, I'm seeing some decent numbers. Line 9 could also use another bus, so you know what, line 9. While we're here, I'll give you an extra bus. I'm not sure if I should upgrade any of these lines. These are tram lines, but... um. I might, I might. Let's just get the let's just get this city railroad wrangled and under control. Because as it stands, I'm not sure if I want to do any more city railroad lines, but then again, I might do one for those factories which I neglected to uh, capture for for these apartments here. So I might do one for that. 
and then just have it loop around, go around these offices. Scoop it. Actually, yeah, I, I'm actually seeing the potential for a really big city railroad here. You know, I think I'm going to do another city railroad. Let's just get an extra train for line 10 and then we can start working on it because make sure our lines are efficient before we uh, look onto new pastures because obviously on line 5 I think we need yet another bus. You know what, get a, get a lieutenant elephant out, that should keep numbers down. Um, right, so da -da 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 -da, line 5. How many buses do I have running on line 5 by the way? I have 6 buses on line 5 and we're still having trouble coping with the sheer amount of people. Let's just have a look at our market shares on these factories actually because I'm guessing they're very high. See, with this one, 107, not bad. This one, oh, only 42. Well, that's a shame. This one, 160, good. This big one, two, nearly 300. That is a very excellent number we're seeing there. And this one, uh, no one, no one, no one at all. Uh, it's because they all come from the tower blocks. Right, I'll have to find a way to link the tower blocks to uh, this factory then. I think if we just build one big city railroad line, it might work out. This one, yeah, I've got nearly half a collaborators on that one. All right. Not bad then, not bad, you know. I am getting a decent share of these at places at least, but yeah, we need to definitely, I need to keep on expanding my market share just so we can hit that 50% uh, traffic reduction target, but as it stands, I think we're going to have no issues at all hitting the company value. The money's just pouring into my coffers, I mean, look at that, we're already nearly on 5 million and it ain't even halfway through the year yet. You know, I think we're, we're pulling in at least a million a year now, that, that is what we want to see. So let's shoot for getting 2 million a year now, and then, you know, we'll keep... See if we can add an extra million per year, then by the, by, the, by the end of the game, we could hopefully hit that big old 16 million company value and just say, yeah, we just fucking earned this mission. Right, um, have a quick look at our total profit, so just to pass the time while we wait for that last 100,000 to come in, and yep, um, we are now completely and totally in the black by uh, nearly, well, over a quarter of a million in. We'll go back in the red once I buy that train, but I think we'll have no problems getting back in the black. And the past two years have shown positive profits coming in, so yeah. Uh, so last year we brought in, yeah, I mean, look at that. Last year we brought in over 4 million just through our transport service. So we're making an income of 4 million, and I have barely had to adjust. I haven't had to adjust ticket prices, I haven't had to adjust anything. I might start putting in a marketing campaign just to hoover up extra people but as it stands I don't think we're going to need it because we have so many people it might just pull itself off but if, if we're getting towards the end of the mission and I haven't quite got that 50% traffic reduction I don't want to put it on I want to put it on line 10 I am going to basically throw in an extra uh, what you call it advertising campaign my uh, my mind blanked up then it, it's in the morning for once I'm actually recording this in the morning since there's no one around I can have the I can have the peace and quiet to record and it's but I'm, I'm in morning mode which means I'm a bit thick right now anyway I want to buy another lieutenant elephant for line 2 because line 2 is reporting very high ridership numbers or at least very high people waiting at my bus stop numbers so let's get another one on line 2 please there you go right make, make good use out of that bus I, I trust you will because I'm going to start planning a new city railroad now so I'm gonna I'm gonna have them all link up. So I'll make this like the uh, the common stop. Or actually, could I get across the river through this one here? Like, so I know people from these tower blocks visit this factory up here. Actually, so if I start, yeah, if I go, let's just see. Yeah, got an idea. So if we go down here. Up here, we'll, we'll just basically stick to the borders of the map where no one builds anything. But then we'll just quickly turn here. I wanna, I wanna capture those nice little entertainment facilities while we're here. So we'll just loop around, grab as many as we can, and also we grab, grab a few people from that town there. Then we make our way across the river with an absolutely huge. I mean, look at that! That is one big ass bridge we just built there. But you know, this is the uh, the SK Walker. I mean, sorry, it's the Squawker. You guys have got me in the habit of saying SK Walker now. It's all your fucking fault. Um, you know, the Squawker... Not Memorial, because he's not dead yet. The Squawker, I have so much fucking money, I don't know what to do with it. Bridge. That's what we'll call it. Now, let's uh, grab up these factories here. May as well, while we're in, in the area. So we'll grab those, then we'll... Come down here, grab the peeps from here, and just as a last little, last little encore, we'll come up here, grab the people from these factories, come down here. It's a very long line, this, but I think it's going to pay off because I think with city railroads you can get away with longer lines just because they're very linear. 
but don't get caught up in like bullshit traffic problems and well you, you just really hop on where you want and you hop off where you want you know if I put plenty of frequent trains on here you know and ah oh, fuck it you know what let's bring this full circle actually I, I don't I don't really need to but you know what it's just it's just for the fun this time I'm just gonna bring it full circle there we go Right, there we go then. A new city railroad successfully constructed, just going all across the map now. So what we need to do next is we need to just put up our stations and then we are ready to launch it once we have a train ready. So this time I'm going to be vigilant to make sure I put them all on the correct side of the train tracks. Now, we go down here. Uh, just double check which way is which, which line goes the way I want the train to travel. Um... Let's see, line at 11 please, so uh, I want to go, I want to stick to this outer line here, so uh, I don't need these residential peeps here, but oh, I want these residential peeps, oh wait, I don't even capture them right, don't matter then, um, I don't, oh no, wait, oh, I need to build on this side if I want to get these, so, right, that's like the on the way back part then, and then, actually if I do this line inverse it'd actually work out better, so, um, yeah. So it's da -da 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 then right we'll uh I'll grab this leisure facility while I'm here. Uh put them on both sides actually just 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 because that'll make that one a bit better. And I want let's see, I want one here. No, oh I can't capture that really? Fuck off game. Right. One there to then to capture that factory, then we go all the way down here and Yeah, this game's a bit iffy about how I can capture places, but I want Got the, I've got this one there where no one visits because they all come from the tower blocks. And then, uh, yeah, get all these captured. <coughs> and down here, um, yeah, get these get these peeps captured. And then down here, get these peeps captured, please. And then keep going, get these peeps captured. And then, oh, wait, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to make a turnaround point. That's what I needed to do. But that can act as a turnaround point there. So you know what, we'll put an extra stop there. Just in case anyone who lives here actually visits these factories, you know, I'm going to stay ahead of the game again. Not sure if I need another train on line 10, by the way, it might come to that, but I think I have created a nice line here, so... Yeah, I mean, let's just try... Why, why can't I capture the people if I... Like, the train stops right there, and you guys won't get on it? Talk about fussy. I mean, yeah. Hmm... City Railroad can be awkward at times, methinks. And I kind of want... Oh, oh, wait, I can... Oh, I can get everyone here. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Right, we can get rid of that station then. For some reason, it doesn't capture those office blocks, though, which is, uh, in my opinion, extreme bullshit, but whatever. So, yeah. Right, let's set this line up and see how it goes. And maybe I just need to set this line up. Because this line seems to be being a bit awkward. Like, I'm having trouble capturing structures, but... We start where... I don't want to go where line 10 is, of course. I want to go where, where line 11 finishes. So now we make our way up here, and then up here, up here, and then up down here, down here, and then just keep going. So down here, and then, well, actually, I could just cheat and just go like this. I mean, everything's going to get captured automatically here. I just need to go all the way down here, down to here. This is a turnaround point, then all the way back up, so do, 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 all the way back up, all the way, all the way, all the way, nice and simple, up and down, nice and smooth, makes it go around, there we go, right, that's line 13 done, right, what's the unluckiest Pokemon in the world, what's that really shitty useless one, oh wait, I've already done a Magic Carp one, haven't I, uh, oh, you know what, I've got Magic Bus, how about I have Magic Train now, see, so that's line... Oh, wait, this is line 12? I thought we already had a line 12. I thought this was line... All oh, right, Line 12 can... Doesn't have to be a Magic Cat one. Then, uh, what's that other one? Oh, yeah. Gary Train. That works. Gary Train. Right. Let's buy you a train. Um, I'll get you the really nice one. Just because I'm not too... Uh, I do have my reservations about this line. Because I haven't exactly built it very well. So I'd rather go for a nicer train. Just to... Uh, Maybe just tip the odds in my favour, but I need another bus, I mean, another train for line 11 and probably another one for line 10, so yeah. These city railroads are probably proving to be a wee bit too popular in my opinion, just because I'm having a little bit of trouble keeping up with demand, but I'm making money quickly now, so hopefully I can just get these trains blasted out rather quickly. 
So at line 12 can now set off and hopefully we'll have a uh, very strong performance out of it. We'll observe as I wait for more money to come in. How's our company value doing? And since we last checked on it about five minutes ago, by the way, and oh, look at that, it's nearly seven million. What have we done now? We started this year with four million. We've made nearly three million company value in a year. Now we've got, now we're over halfway to our traffic goal. So, yeah, I think we've beaten this mission. I mean, we aren't even halfway through the mission and we're basically already halfway to beating the mission. So, we are way ahead of schedule now. This guy is just driving on the edge of the world. Hopefully we get something for line 12. I mean, I, I, I do hope it, it works out. I mean, kind of like watching these trains, actually. I, I do like building the city railroads a lot, actually. I don't know. I thought, yes, we've got customers. Let's have a look. 53. No one from here. Because they all go to that suburban shithole there. And anyone from here? Two. Yay! All right, all right. We're, catch we're capping a few peas. We're capping them. Good, 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 good. I'm happy about this. I'm happy about this. I am... Well, yeah, I'm fucking happy about it. Hey, here comes your first big load, and you're going to go right past him, aren't you? I need more trains on this line. It's a long line. It's going to run horribly. It's going to be horribly inefficient, actually, because of the way it's been built. It's because... Like, I could build, build a train... Oh, yeah, I can build one there. All right, get one on the other side, then. Why not? Why not? Um, yeah, I could do it on this side. Right, why, why is this game being so fucking awkward, then? Alright, just, just uh, try and build counterparts then, like, just to uh, maximise and efficientise, because that's what, I, I'm, that's what I'm all about in this game, maximise and efficientise, so there we go, I mean, yeah, I've got a lot of peeps actually uh, wanting to ride this line, so, it would be highly advisable if, also I, I want to put another station there, by the way, um, it would be highly advisable if I were to basically pull my finger out, and basically uh, get more trains on line 12 because we are gonna we are gonna fucking need more trains on line 12. Not sure if I need to do another city railroad by the way. I might do one just pushing through the centre of town, but then again, that'd be taking traffic away from line five, which is doing much better now by the way. Line four might need a bit of TLC, and the same goes for line six. So yeah, I can't forget my bus lines of course because they are really my car money maker so buy two more Manji Alexis please and I'll have one for line four and one for line six please so there you go line four enjoy you've been running off two weasels for quite a while now and you just get an extra Manji Alexis for do what you will with it just try and make me more money because you actually you're about to push one million so good for you trade's picked up a few peeps now so it's going around being nice and efficient so that's what I'm happy about we're getting there and, oh wait I need to I need to oh I forgot city railroads are annoying I need to add all these stations manually uh, which I'm gonna do next episode actually just because we're on the final month of this year so I don't I'm well it's not that I can't be bothered it's just that yeah I, the, the, we're, we're, we're imminently gonna end the episode uh, just we're gonna see if we can get enough money just to buy another SMB NAP 20 but I'm gonna put that on line 11 and then we're god line 10 you are just so Line 10 is just far too popular for its own good. I mean, we I think we've cleaned house on those factories, really. Line 12 is now making its return journey, so that's uh, that's always good for us to see. But, yeah, we're, we're now just about to hit year 5, so at the end of year 5, we'll be at the halfway point of the mission. But I think it's fair to say we are doing extremely well. We are extremely ahead of schedule. So I think it's fair to say uh, we fucking won. Right, line 11, you get your new, your new train, so uh, have fun with it. Try and pick up as many peeps as you can, get those waiting times down, make this line great again, and just do everything we need to do. But um, at the end of and at the end of this year, we've uh, we've jumped up on a 10% traffic reduction. We've now re reduced 38% of all traffic, and we've achieved 8 million company value. So we've made 4 million company value in a year, and that is just absolutely, completely and totally fan fucking tastic. 8 million. So you know, 4 million in a year. That's halfway to the big company value goal, so actually we'll hit the company value goal. If we continue with this rate of growth, we'll actually have this mission won within two more years, actually. So, yeah, that's going to be the target. We'll see if we can win by the end of year six, and that is something I really hope that happens, and that we're at the end of the year, and the MD Futatech is available. Right, might get one or two of those running around, but I doubt I will, because, you know what, I think we just need the Mamji Alexis, the Lieutenant Elephants. We're pretty much at the end stage of this mission. But that's where we're going to leave off for today, so I shall see you all on the next episode for more kicking ass of a game with a really inconsistent difficulty curve. See you later, folks.